We end tonight at 201 North Hazel Dell Avenue. It's a vacant lot right now, but Steve Hartman reports there used to be a house there. Structurally, there was nothing wrong with the house. Theoretically, someone could have lived here. And yet, on a recent sunny Saturday morning, the town of Crandon, Wisconsin did what it says needed to be done. The night before the demolition, a local American Indian tribe, along with priests, pastors, and townspeople by the hundreds, all gathered to bid good riddance to their collective nightmare. And as this house is demolished tomorrow, we will chase the black cloud of darkness and despair surrounding it away. The memories are never going to be gone, but the house will be gone. Are you going to feel better when it's down? You have no idea. Really? As soon as we take it down, sun will shine. It all began last October when police were called to the house where 18-year-old Jordan Murray was renting. Jordan and five of her friends had gotten together that night for a pizza party. Not on the guest list, Tyler Peterson, a local sheriff's deputy and Jordan's abusive ex-boyfriend. He showed up shortly before 3 a.m. with a rifle and a vengeance, killing all six and himself. Or is calling 911? There sounds like gunshots being fired. In the months that followed, the people of Crandon struggled with the loss. They buried their dead, but the reminder remained. Such a haunting reminder. Pastor Bill Farr says the community really had no choice. And this is an infection until you get it out, you can't heal. But again, because there was nothing really wrong with the house, the owner couldn't afford to just give it up. So folks around town started collecting donations, selling candles and bracelets, and eventually raised enough money to pay the man fair market value for the house, $71,000, just to tear it down. A catharsis that by all accounts, was well worth the investment. Today, the site is nothing but flowers and new grass. Scars are fading and efforts underway to build a memorial, maybe a fountain or a statue, or maybe just a quiet, empty place for remembering and forgetting. One footnote. All that debris you saw was hauled to an undisclosed out-of-state dump site, both to discourage souvenir hunters and to guarantee that not so much as a nail will ever make its way back to Crandon. And you can totally understand why that community wanted that, that house destroyed. It's really those nice that they lives. did that, especially for the families. Yeah. They, they, it was very important to them.